Yeah. Because that's what you grew up in and that's what you know. Yeah. I, so I of think, course you're going to be a diabetic if you're going to eat Debbie's every morning for breakfast and three Mountain Dews throughout your day and not move your body. Yeah. The, the only interesting argument I heard about genetics was, uh, in, in terms of wellness, was something about uh, food drive. Because like nur- nature versus nurture, like genetics are huge. Mm-hmm in a lot of ways but i i think that you know some people have a higher food drive so i remember seeing a bunch of influencers and people talking like in the carnivore diet community where they're like oh yeah i never have to eat you know i'm never hungry they're like selling this fairy tale and then there's this one uh what was her name kelly something where she's like if i don't eat I'm still hangry. <laughs> like, <laughs> she was completely upfront about the fact that like she still had a high food drive. So a lot of times like having a high food drive you get satiated, normal satiety. Some people just need a little more because of because of their Their leptin is probably high. Well, when it's 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 food drive and then it could also be leptin 